So module one, we have gone with the introduction to data structures and module two, we are going with um, stacks and queues. So now we come across the third type of data structure that is linked list. So till now we have seen all the linear data structures. So linear means in the line. So linear data structures, for example, stacks, second one queues, and third one is the last one is linked list. So till now we have seen stacks and queues, and now we are going with a linked list. Okay, so what do you mean by a linked list? So it is also a way to store the data. So organ data structure means what? Organizing the data, organizing the elements by inserting, deleting, sorting, searching. So all these are called as a data structure. So in stack, you start with a stack. So item will be inserted one after the other from one end only. The, that one end is called as a top end, okay? So all the elements will be inserted at one end, that is uh, one after the other. Linear means line by line. So one after the other, we call it as linear. So for example, in the stack, after one item is inserted, you can insert the next element. Uh, next, you can insert next element. So that we go with a stack, come for the queues. So, but Q also, we will be inserting the elements one after the other, but you will be having two ends. So one end is called as a rear end, the other one is called as a front end. So you will be inserting all the elements from the front end, sorry, rear end, and you will be deleting all the elements from the front end. So that is called, that we call it as Q. So Q means all the elements will be inserted at rear as well as front. So for example, we have gone with priority queue, circular queue, ordinary or linear queue, like that, okay? So now you come for the third one, linked list. So linked list. So what is the linked list? It is a linear data structure, as I've already told. So it is a linear data structure. Linear means you can line by line, one after the other, you can place all the elements. That one we call it as linked list. It is a linear data structure and each one we call it as node. So for example, this is an item, okay? So each one is a list. So if there, if the, if there are linked to each other, we call it as linked list, understanding? So yeah, now you see this is one particular list, second list, third list, four list. So all the list are linked together. That one we call it as linked list. It is a linear data structure. It is made up, make up linked list. This one is called nodes. So what we call this one, the entire part is called as a linked list. And this one we call it as nodes. Okay, each and every nodes are related to each other. So that one we call it as nodes. So nodes make up linked list. Okay, so how many nodes are there here? Node one, node two, node three, and node four. Five, 10, 20, and one. Okay, so nodes are the structure made up of data and pointer to another node. So nodes are the structure made up of data. So here you see, what is the node will consist of? So this is a node and it consists of two parts. So one is the data part, the other one is a pointer. So first in the data part, will be, what will be there inside the node? First you will have data and next you have a pointer. So that one we call it as made up of data and a pointer to another node. So what this pointer? So can you again, anybody can tell what is a pointer? Anybody tell what is pointer? Yes, what is a pointer?
okay what's the address of another variable okay so you are correct but here in case of variable you consider it as node okay so pointer so one list okay so one list where one node this node will consist of two parts so first part is the data part the other one is the pointer part so that pointer it points to the another node so it contains the address of the node number 2 so this one is node number 1 node number 2 node number 3 node number 4 so first in node 1 first you have the data one and the this one is called it as a link or the pointer so link it contains the address of the next node if the address of the next node is to 20 so this one will contain the address of the next node so what will contain the 20 will come and sit here for example i am telling you so where is the address of the node 2 so it is at location 20 so what this link field will contain so link field will contain the address of this particular node that is 20 will come and sit here understood so similarly this this pointer will consist of address of node 3 and this one will consist of this part will consist of address of node 4 okay usually the pointer is called next pointer because it points to the next node in the list okay so that's why we call the pointer we call it as a next so there are two fields one is the data field the other one is the next field so data field contains a data and next field will point contains the address of the next node it contains the address of the next node okay so next you come arrays versus linked list okay so what is the differences between arrays and linked list so come for the arrays array it is of fixed size okay but linked list is of dynamic size so okay keep in your mind stacks you were using array for queues also you have using arrays but but you see the linked list the linked list will go with a dynamic size whereas array is fixed size that is resizing is expensive next one in so whatever operations you have done so insertion and deletion are inefficient here insertion and deletion are efficient okay here we can random access but here we can't random access so that is no random access so it is not suitable for operation for accessing the element such as sorting okay so here no memory waste if the array is full here memory is allocated dynamically according to our need so there is no waste of mem memory so sequential access is faster it is sequential access is slow okay so this is the differences between arrays and linked list okay so now you come for the types of the list so types of the list there are two basic types of the linked list one is singly linked list the other one is doubly linked list so third type is also there that is circular linked list okay so now can anyone tell so now answer to my question what the one how many parts are there in the node how many parts are there in the node answer to this question so how many parts are there in the node before you go with the types of list now i have told you there are node 1 node 2 node 3 node 4 each node will have how many part that means how many fields how many fields are there in two okay which are the two nodes which are the two fields which are the two fields
data and pointer is it correct so what the pointer will contain answer what the pointer will contain <laughs> it holds the address of another pointer sorry so pointer will holds address of next node so keep in your mind what the pointer will contain pointer will holds the address of the next node okay so that is the here you see here so node 1 is node 1 data is 5 so node 1 pointer it contains the address of the next node 2 similarly node 2 data is 10 and node 2 pointer will contain the address of the node 3 so now can you tell can you tell so what is node 3 data can you tell what is node 3 dot data node 3 data is okay only one answer node 3 dot data will contain value what so take this example node 1 node 2 node 3 node 3 there are two fields one is data field the other one is next field next is the pointer okay you can see here pointer is called next so node 1 dot data is 5 node 1 dot next it contains the address of node 2 similarly node 2 dot data is equal to 10 and node 2 dot next will contain the address of node 3 similarly node 3 dot data is equal to 20 and what does node 3 dot next will contain so can you tell what does node 3 dot data contains what node 3 dot next contains node 3 dot data contains node 3 dot data contains 20 node 3 dot next will contain so it's not one so it contains the address it is data one is the data okay so node 3 dot next next will contain the address of node 4 you what does node 3 dot next will contain node 3 dot next will contain address of node 4 understood understood now so now you tell me what is node 4 dot data node 4 dot data okay so node 4 dot data is equal to 1 so node 4 dot next node 4 dot next so node 4 dot next is it are you having anything else 
Now node four dot next is equal to null. So keep in your mind node four node four dot next is equal to null. Okay, you are right. So Sindhu BD is correct. It is null. Okay. So now you come for the types. There are two types. One is singly linked list. The other one is doubly linked list. And third one circular linked list. So keep in your mind there are three types in your syllabus. One is singly. Second one is doubly. Third one is circular linked list. Now you come for the singly linked list. So. So what the singly linked list? Each node has only one link part. Okay, keep in your mind what the singly linked list will contain. So in singly linked list, you will be having only one part. So each node has only one link part, and each link part will contain address of next node in the list. It is same. What we have seen linked list, it is same for the singly linked list also. So each node has only one link part, and each link part contains address of next node. Okay, so link part of the last node contains null value, which signifies the end of the node. So this is a single linked list. So you can tell this is a single linked list. So single linked list will contain one link part, and that link part will contain the address of the next node, and address of the last node will be marked as null. Okay. so that is the so concept here each node has only one link part and link part will contain address of the next node and link part of the last node contains null that must signifies end of the node so this is the schematic representation so what is the schematic representation you have here is a singly linked list so name is my list so each node so each here is the single linked list each node contains two fields so one is the data field the other one is the next pointer so this one we call it as next pointer so it contains the value that is data and a pointer to the next node in the list okay so similarly this one is the node 1 node 2 node 3 node 4 so node 1 dot data is equal to a and node 1 dot next is equal to address of node 2 similarly node 2 dot data is equal to b and node 2 dot next will contain address of node 3 similarly node 3 dot data is equal to c and node 3 dot next will contain address of node 4 so node 4 dot data is equal to d node 4 dot next is equal to nothing which marks the end means it will be the null okay so that is the concept of singly linked list so basic operations on the list so what are all the basic operations you will be seeing so first one create a list second insertion deletion search and reverse so the, the, this three what you have creation insertion and deletion are very very important from exam point of view keep this one in your mind list inserting the element and deleting the element that are the basic operations very very important so first you come for the creating a node so how you create a node so we create a node using struct so create the node using struct keyword so a node will consist of two fields one is the data field the other one is pointer what is the pointer so pointer is star next so what the star next will tell next is the pointer variable okay so now you have the node and that will consist of data field and the next pointer field so this should be node star next so that means it the star next means it is a pointer field which contains the address of the next node so which contains the address of the next node so data type we give it as node only so this is a structure variable so what is the structure variable we call it as start okay so what is the struct is a keyword and struct name node is name is the node and structured members are data and next and structured variable is start 
So initially, start is equal to null because you are creating a fresh node. So there are no nodes. You are not. You are creating a fresh node. That's why we give it as start is equal to null. So I have given here start points at the first node. Initialize to beginning. Initialize to null at the beginning. Okay. So now you have to create. Okay, create a node and pass a value. So create a node and pass the value. So that when you, how you create that we will see in this particular example. Okay, so create this one is create the node and put a value. Keep in your mind this one will create a node but it will not insert anything. So this one this example will create a node but not insert anything in the data field. Okay. But whereas in this particular example, we are creating a node and inserting a value. Okay, so take the same thing, node create of int num. Num means you are passing a value to the data field of the node. So node star ptr. So first you have to check whether it is list is full or not. So how to check the list is full or not? So for that you go with ptr double equals null. So if PTR double equals null means no space. So when you have this uh, null, when there is a last node. So last node, the address will be given as null. So if PTR is equal to null, so you give it as overflow. If not, so that pointer will consist of two fields. One is the data field, the other one is next field. So what is the node name? Node name is PTR. So PTR then data is equal to num. So PTR then data is equal to num and PTR then next is equal to null. So keep in your mind, this is a representation we are taking for two fields. So this node we call it as PTR and PTR dot data is equal to one and PTR dot then next is equal to null. So for this is the syntax for creating the node and inserting the value. So this is the syntax for only creating the nodes. So this one is for creating the node and placing the value. So what is the node you have created? So node is the PTR. So if PTR double equals null means you have no memory that is you are already filled. So if not what you will give? So PTR then data is equal to num and PTR the next is equal to null. That means no nodes are there. That's why we are marking it as null. Understood? So now you call the data. So this is a function what you have given for creating the node and inserting the data. So you are passing a value num. So where is the num? So that num is been passed here. So this is the code what we have taken from C++. Okay, so we are, we are creating a node and you are calling the data C in data. So what is the data we give it here? So data is one. Okay, one is the data what you are going to give. Then we call a function create of data. So are you getting? So you can use this for the attendance link. Answer your attendance now. Understanding the basics.
are you getting understood up to here creating the node and inserting the data are you getting so this is so here you are create, just creating the node so how you create the node using structure variable with two fields what is the field one is a data field the other one is next field with a structure variable that is start so initially structure we are giving it as null because you are not storing this is a variable okay it is the node node we are giving it as start that means you are not filling any values for the start dot start is the node name okay so but here you see you are going to create a node and assign the value so how you create the node so first you see new node if ptr double equals null means overflow else what is the new node the new node is ptr ptr then data is equal to num you give and ptr the next you give it as null okay so where you are giving this is a called function okay so node create of int num it is a called function so you have to go with a calling function so calling function will be always called from the main part so that's why we give it as void main so here you create a pointer and next you give data so this data what you give c in of data so now it is passed to, you know you call a function create of data so create this is a calling function create of data so this create of data is same as create of num okay so in place there it is actual parameter we have taken it as data and here it is formal parameter we have taken it as num okay so first you check with the pointer so if the pointer double equals null no place else you can insert so the data ptr then data is equal to num and ptr then next is equal to null when you mark it as null there will be no particular next node available so ptr then next is equal to next means it contains address of the next node but here if you as there are no nodes here it will be marked as null understood so this is up to introduction of linked list so this is up to linked list so in tomorrow's class we will be going with a insertion various operation on linked list okay so understood up to here okay so i hope you all understood up to here so remaining things we shall see in the next class so thank you all